Ever since Russia decided to waltz into Ukraine, it seems like there's a big old target on Vladimir Putin's back. Right when the invasion started in September 2022, word on the street was that Putin dodged an assassination attempt. Fast forward to May 2023, there was another attempt on his life using a drone strike right at the heart of Moscow in the Kremlin fortress. And guess what? Swing and a miss. After this incident, Russia was quick to point fingers at Ukraine. But Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, was like, wasn't us. Here's the juicy bit. Since Putin's been the big boss of Russia, it's believed he's dodged not one, not two, but over seven assassination attempts. Now you might wonder, how is he pulling off these Houdini acts? The answer? Putin's got a protection system that's tighter than Fort Knox. Before diving into how Putin's special security team and protection protocols work, let's rewind and look at the series of assassination attempts that Putin's security forces managed to thwart. Not a lot is out in the open about this. Probably because they want to keep things hush-hush to avoid causing a ruckus in Russia and beyond. First up, when Putin was on a state visit to Azerbaijan in 2002, an Iraqi dude got nabbed trying to off Putin. This guy was suspected of being in cahoots with rebel forces from Afghanistan and Chechnya, trying to ship explosives. He ended up with a 10-year vacay in prison. Still, in 2002, there was another attempt on Putin's life. This time, they targeted his ride. They found a whopping 40 kilograms of explosives planted along the route Putin was going to take. Jump to October 2003, there was a plot to take out Putin in the UK. Two guys were suspected, and one was even claimed to be a former hitman for the Russian Secret Service. When Putin stepped down a notch to prime minister and was gearing up for the presidential elections in 2012, Russian security services foiled another assassination plot. The guy behind it? Adam Ozmaev, a volunteer soldier and sharpshooter from Chechnya, he and his wife were accused of planning to blow up Putin's motorcade in Moscow. So, how's Putin dodging all these assassination attempts? Well, he's got a special security squad. The special service responsible for keeping the Russian president safe is the Federal Protection Service, or FSO. They're kind of like the musketeers of Russia. There are about 50,000 of them, and they don't just protect the Prez, but other top officials too. This unit is all about ensuring the personal safety of the Russian president. The folks picked for this aren't just any soldiers with war experience or secret police agents. Why? Well, soldiers and agents are trained to go after visible threats. But these bodyguards, their job is to protect themselves from the unseen. The guys guarding Putin aren't just any dudes. They gotta know foreign languages, read situations, and get politics. The goal? Understand who's approaching the president and how to handle them. For a glimpse of how they operate, just look at how Putin's security interacted with Conor McGregor. They were watching his every move when he chatted with Putin. And when they felt something was off, they quickly told McGregor to get his hand off Putin's shoulder. That's how quickly these bodyguards need to act. A bodyguard also needs to understand operational psychology and have physical stamina, including the ability to withstand cold and not sweat in the heat. They're allowed to smoke to help relieve stress faster, except during training and on duty. And because top-notch physical stamina is a must, once a bodyguard hits 35, they're either reassigned or given a new gig guarding someone like a governor or federal minister. Before Putin even thinks about stepping foot in a place, his security team is on it months in advance. First up, they're on the ground scoping out every possible threat in the area Putin's gonna visit. We're talking about criminal activity, social unrest, and even potential natural disasters. So these guys aren't just looking out for human threats, but Mother Nature's curveballs too. The team also links up with local authorities to check out wherever Putin's gonna crash. They're super thorough. I mean, they even fix doorknobs. Why? So that when Putin rolls in, there's no need for any techies or repair dudes to access his digs. His bodyguards also sweep every nook and cranny of a room, checking for devices meant to set off remote bombs. Then, 
the IT peeps in the security team set up signal jammers to block any sketchy signals around the president's location. All this goes down before Putin even shows up. It's a whole process, but hey, it's been working for them. When Putin arrives at a spot, it's a whole production. On the road, Putin's in a convoy of armored vans. Inside, you've got military operators packing AK-47S, anti-tank grenade launchers, and portable anti-aircraft missiles. Every move Putin makes, from getting in the car to stepping out, is watched like a hawk. When it comes to guarding Putin, the team's set up in four circles. The innermost circle, right up close and personal with the president, is his personal bodyguards. They look all intimidating in their suits, and some even carry briefcases that pop open into shields to block bullets. The second circle is the real MVPs. They blend in with the crowd, dressed all formally, always on the lookout for potential threats. The third circle's job is to keep the public in check, stopping any suspicious folks from getting too close to Putin. And the fourth circle? Snipers, perched up on rooftops, ready to take a shot. So if you even think about making a shady move near the president, you might just find a red dot on your forehead in seconds. Putin also has someone taste test every dish served up to him to make sure there's no poison in his grub. But if we're being real, Putin's biggest security asset is the man himself. With his background in the Soviet and Russian secret services, Putin's the kind of guy his own security team can count on. Now, here's where things get juicy. There's this guy, Gleb Krakulov, who used to be in Putin's inner circle. He decided to spill the beans after Russia invaded Ukraine. Krakulov had been observing Putin up close and personal from 2009 to 2022. According to him, Putin's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He's changed, big time and not for the better. Krakulov paints a picture of Putin turning into a war criminal. The dudes become super secretive. I mean, can you believe Putin doesn't even use a cell phone or the internet? All the info he gets is from his closest peeps. Instead of flying, Putin's more into traveling in a special armored train. And get this, he's even got a bunker built at the Russian embassy in Kazakhstan. Krakulov's take? All these intense security measures aren't just because Putin's the president. It's because Putin's turned super paranoid. Talk about drama.